I actually hit a kid on a bike with my car. Um, and I don't think I don't think I've talked we'll delete about this from this. this show. So let me just start. That's by not at all the same thing. I just, <laughs> well, I just well, we had it's like me and the sprinklers where, all where, over again. Those are fully different. Where it is similar is we had the same reaction as you did. I just waved and smiled. <laughs> Sorry, while I was laughing, and he was like, "That's ah, cool." No, I so he's I'm, all. Ugh. He's all, oh, he's all, it's cool. He wiped the blood away from his lips, and then he started <laughs> laughing. He's like, "Oh, that was a pretty good. That was a pretty good goof on your part." But I'm so I'm coming around. There's like two different shopping centers, right? In between the shopping center is a roadway. Well, there's a freaking UPS van parked on the in the fire zone, completely creating a blind spot for anything coming around the corner. So I'm I'm like rolling through, and all of a sudden I hear, and this kid on a bike just turns the corner and just nails the front of my car like it was like a starsky and hutch like you know when like in a movie or tv they hit a car and they go up your hood and then roll back off kind of or off to the side (laughs) it was like that and it was so shocking that it was like a very similar thing where it's like it all happened in slow motion and i slammed on the brakes and i instantly put my car in park and hopped out and it was like a 10 year old kid okay so technically he hit you 100 percent yeah, you got to phrase that he, different, my he, man. Just to put that on record. He, he also <laughs> destroyed my bumper, right? Because he, he was a hard headed kid. <laughs> did you sue him for Did you sue him for that? I sued his dad. And now his, I just saw his dad on the street. And I was like, hey, was it worth it? Was it worth it? <laughs> now they're There's bathing some water in jets over there. You guys should go check them out. You're all thanks for the <laughs> bumper. Yeah. So anyway, he, he I get out of my car and I'm like, dude, are you OK? And this poor kid is like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. I'm like. Yeah, no, it's this asshole in the UPS vans. It's not like your fault. Like, I'm not mad. And he's just like profusely apologizing to me. So at that point, I'm like, okay, my role here is that I don't care about my car. My car's a 2013. It's a piece of junk. The only reason I'm still driving is because he's on the ground. He's all, I'm sorry. (laughs) He's like, I don't need to hear about your car and all the work you've had done on it. I just, I can't, my femur shattered, dude. should probably get to the hospital first. I'm like, look, I don't care about the body kit. They rebuilt the engine. So I'm driving into the ground. I don't really, really. It's the principle that is, is the one that's making me sad right now. I didn't know when I was thought I was driving into the ground. That was actually, you were the ground. So I'm sorry about that. But I just, (laughs) he was like, so dude, his, I, his knee. So, so anyway, long story short, that happened. He gets up, he's okay. And I drive off and I'm just like, what the hell? So then it like dawns on me, like, you should probably like go check that this kid didn't drive away and then instantly fall over, you know, on the ground or whatever. So I went back and checked, but dude, it was, it was so bizarre. And it just it happened so fast that I was like, I can't, I, I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, I felt bad for the kid, but I felt more, I felt worse that he was so, he, he thought I was going to get out of his car and beat the crap out of him for hitting my car. And I'm just like, dude, <laughs> look at my bumper. You're fine. You're good. I just want to make sure you can walk after this. So you're like, we're in California. Pedestrians have the right of way. So yeah. <laughs> I'm all look, what we should do is team up and go beat the hell out of this UPS driver and steal all of his boxes. But you know, yeah. I, so I, really I what you're saying is it's UPS's fault. Hundred percent actually happened. I mean, they shouldn't. They would just, maybe that's who you should sue. Don't park in the fire lane, dude. And then, um, and then I went back and checked, and it said loading zone. So actually, he was he didn't do anything wrong. But <laughs> you know, that kid's walking with a limp.